heading over to some of our friends house uh, our friends that live about uh, 30 minutes away and they have taken an old house old farmhouse that was in really really bad shape and they have fixed it up um, they've done a, a, a lot of um, remodeling um, on, a, on a tight budget um, they're trying to stick with an old-fashioned antique old-fashioned farmhouse look so a lot of it is um, back in the old old timey days type stuff and um, they uh, uncovered a beautiful fireplace and uh, but uh, when me and Lee first went over there we went and seen the house when they first bought it and um, they had just bought it hadn't done anything to it yet and I was whoo I thought oh my they've got a lot of a lot of tackle to go a lot of lot to go through there um, I didn't know if they could even possibly make it livable Uh, we're going to take you along and they're going to fish a little bit and we're going to check out what they've done with the um, the old farmhouse and and uh, so that'll be fun. Sorry. Um, okay. Yeah, we had a house that we had bought when we first got married and uh, thought it was going to be our forever home. It was a very small house, um, but uh, we ended up having a house fire and we put so much into that little house. It was like a little primitive home and... Uh, Anyway, we had talked about at some point selling and moving out into the country, and uh, I tell people that the Lord gave us exactly what I asked for. Um, I had said I wanted a pond for the kids to fish. I wanted land for us to homestead, and um, I had said I needed three acres to homestead. I didn't consider that the pond would take up some of that acreage, and uh, we actually got five and a half acres here, and the pond is a two-acre pond. So I got my three acres, I've got the pond, and uh, we're just we're out of the country. Yeah. And y'all got this pretty pretty cheap, didn't we, you? Yeah. If this was, was a, a foreclosure on top of a foreclosure. It has been a lot of work. When the Lord gives you what you ask for, He doesn't say it's going to be easy. <laughs> uh, we've had to really work hard, and we're making it ours. We're putting our touch on it. And, uh, I had always done primitive, and this is a vintage kind of kitchen, but I'm kind of mixing them together and making it home. And uh, you, are you starting a channel? <laughs> That's debatable. You, you've, you've got a name. <laughs> I do have a name. We are the Extraordinary American Family. Extraordinary um, American Family. family. Here, there was a wall here. And all you could see was this little bit of the fireplace here. And, uh, you know, you couldn't see all up All of that up there and the other side goes into the other room but there was a wall there and just a and door a hallway that went down. and a hallway yeah. down through there so when they opened that up they got the whole effect of the fireplace all the way through on both sides go back through here and show the other side And the wood stoves from the old house too we're gonna that y'all had we used one. it this winter because it was so cold this winter this yeah. was one of our coldest winters oh, so, i mean yeah. it was like yes. single digits yes. for yeah. a week yeah. and our pond completely froze over you could walk on it and play oh my goodness um, but uh it was we've fun. got some work to do if they were going to paint it and everything but we didn't want to paint it in the winter time <laughs> we were yeah. using it yeah okay. okay i'm gonna show sarah's kitchen Here's the kitchen. I love the um, bottom of the hooser cabinet in the middle there. She um, painted on. And then her cabinets she painted. That took more time than what I thought it would do. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I love it. I love that. But, uh, I went, when we went to paint them, I was like, well, I'm keeping my doors. I worked too hard on them. Yeah. I, don't want to I, I just love that. Oh, yeah. 
So I think that's one of my favorite things in here. And I got my refrigerator. We had to go to uh, old looking for Diana, Illinois. She kept everything old looking. Uh, yeah, the house was built in the 50s. 50s. The refrigerator was from the 50s. Uh, Josh went to Vianna and got it. And um, I don't know how clean it is inside. <laughs> but uh, it still has the freezer door. Yeah. Like a lot of them are missing the freezer door. And that yep. one still has the That's neat. It's not a lot of and space the stove. in there. Yeah. The stove, stove is the woman I think she was making 150 stove. for it and whenever I talked to her we had to go to Evansville Indiana and uh, she was another homeschool mom and she said you know what she said after finding out we went through a fire and lost everything she said you come get it you can have it oh wow so that's nice uh, like it's got warming doors and uh, all of these are like for pretty much storage and then I got my oven uh-huh I and love then it. Nate. this little lot, it still works. Aww. And this I thought was really cool. It's the salt and pepper shaker. Oh, there's the pepper and the salt it. that oh, went wow. with it. And the little cubby oh, spot. Oh, you know, I gotta show that. <laughs> okay, that's neat. Salt and pepper in a little cubby hole. I've never seen I that didn't myself. Either. And I've this, seen a lot of old stoves, but I've never seen that. This is a like a little oh. I think it was supposed to be a, a deep fryer wow but uh most people call them bean cookers wow and uh, it cooks beans great I, I have not seen one like this yeah. <laughs> really proud and it's got a little electrical outlet that works that's neat yeah. I like your uh, pen holder over here yeah and I lost a lot of my cast iron uh, People didn't understand why I would lose my cast iron, and what it was is it got so hot, and then the fire, the water came in, and it all busted. This Sorry. was over my oven door, and uh, the fire was from the stove top up, and uh, so which it was actually an electrical outlet behind the stove that caused the fire, but um, we were able to salvage this. They said that the refrigerator was pushed up against the outlet and it kinked the cord, and that's what caused the fire. Hmm. I love this. This what is, is that? A, this is a baker's rack. A baker's it rack. Was a An old Jewish baker's crafted. rack. Yeah, it was wow. a, and, uh, the wheels. I can't remember. Wow. The wheels said, I think they said like 1826. 1826. I'm thinking it was like they were. Oh, wow. That is old. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen that either. Yeah, it was really old. Wow. Josh got that for me for my birthday. Right. And we're going to finish putting metal on the ceiling sometime. Yeah. Yeah. This. This was a rack that goes in convenience stores. It was out in the field. Yeah. And uh, I took just the shelves and hung it. That's it, it nice. Rocks back and forth. <laughs> Who would think of that? Wow. <laughs> Me. That's great. <laughs> I have a pantry yeah. now. That's great. It's a good size pantry. We put the deep freeze in it oh, okay. along with all the shelves. Okay. And I made my little sign. Uh -huh. Here's Sarah's uh, old Hoosier, Hoosier cabinet. She found. She's got a little work to do on it, she said. She's got it fixed up in her kitchen. We're on the side of the kitchen, just outside of the kitchen. Sarah found this old piece here. Uh, a neighbor had it sitting on the ground, she said, and she asked for it. And she done her first aid in there. And she's got all her oils and everything in there and her tinctures and things that she makes. Neat. And she painted it up with the first day. The, um, my salves, I took baby food jars that Jordan had and uh, I just painted them that way they would, the sunlight wouldn't get to them. Mm -hmm. But I gotta get some beeswax because it's turned to like with uh, the yeah. coconut. Yeah, yeah. It still works. Yeah, but, uh, and show that other jar. I, I love those oh, yeah, jars. I did. I, to like, match the kitchen. Yeah. And you painted them all so that yeah. Why do they have to be they in the dark? In the dark. The dark so that the sunlight doesn't get into them and it would uh, weaken them. They wouldn't. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then uh, I have dandelion infused oil that I did. I love that you painted those. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll be painting mine. <laughs> I'll be painting the jars now. I just oh, painted great. them and then put Mod Podge over them to. Yeah, that's great. Here. Sarah is a homeschool mom. She homeschools her kids, and this is her little schoolroom. Yeah, I always wanted a schoolroom, and now I've got one. Um, oh, this desk fashion. was yeah. actually a vanity of my great grandmother's, and I was able to salvage that from the fire. And uh, we got, I was able to get school desks real cheap at yard sales and uh, and 
actual old phone that uh, if I ever do decide to get another house phone, I'd like to try to convert it and make it work. Uh, made it old little saw or a chop board. board. And uh, yeah, we were able to salvage. I had an old trunk that I kept all the board games in. I was able to salvage that. It uh, a lot of stuff ended up getting wet from yeah. the fire. And yeah. The roof, but I love that chalkboard. Big thing of blinking logs. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> go back to regular school so he could have a locker <laughs> and uh, so now I have lockers <laughs> that's cool these right my grandfather had these outside of his house and uh, I asked him and he used to work at a grocery store called Hancock's long time ago and like when he was a teenager and he's in his 80s now and he got these from Hancock's. guess they're milk so, are they milk yeah ones? I they're think they were um, uh, one of them you I, really I've had one similar to that but I never thought about putting books in it that's me yep milk yep oh, okay. yep I bet you yep. I remember that as being an old milk and it's like you can steal like I just that's got a and fire. you got the old like, books. that was one of this one was Devin's it was Devin's handprint that she had done for Father's Day mm -hmm. and it all still but it's like sweet. I don't want to get rid of it so yep. yep and they have turtles for the classroom yeah I got those out of the <laughs> pond, so we said that would be science. That's neat. Neat, neat. It's got an old got ringer my, washer. Ringer washer. It still has dirty water in it. I got to bring it. I, we have to share a vent for the drain and for the dry the dryer to vent out. But um, we, uh, I had this before the fire, and we were able to salvage it. We're gonna. We started sanding it down. We're gonna repaint it eventually. Oh, it's this is her laundry room. <laughs> This was my grandmother's, and it was in the uh, in the house, and we just brought it and scrubbed it down to. This is her bathroom. She has the old double sinks there. Yeah, these were actually my kitchen sinks at the other house, and uh, I didn't want to let go of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to brush all your teeth; only the ones you want to keep. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, and I made a little storage hot spot uh -huh. there. And even the bathtub is uh, yes. old uh, water trough. Yeah, it was a horse trough. And uh, I put the uh -huh. wooden side on it. And then this has the waterfall. Mm -hmm. I love that. So we still have a lot to do. we got to put the metal up around it to make yeah. for the shower. I still have a lot of work to do. I, I like the chicken wire back there too. Yeah. Put the chicken, chicken wire. wire on the wall. And then we got the little, little closet <laughs> thing. Neat. And I've actually got a sliding basket that you put the laundry in. Oh, and then neat. it goes over to the laundry room. And another um, wash tub up yeah. there for the towels. towels. This is neat. I love this. And this here, we found this. This was in one of the boats we bought at the auction. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is actually like a denture stuff. Oh. So I thought, yeah. well, it goes in the back. Now, eventually, we will be cutting a hole and making the front there like a cabinet. And did you make that top? Yeah, that, well Josh made the top. Made the top is there yeah. on it. We'll uh, just set stuff yeah. on. And then, uh, oh, family photo. With the kids and the grandkids. Blankets. Uh -huh. I had just washed them and we just brought them in off the line. And when we left and came home, found the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The top quilt the Dutch doll, they were my great great grandmother's. She made those. Mm -hmm. And then the next one was her daughter who made. And there's this one. So this was daughter and mother. Yeah. And uh, Ida Henson was her name. And her husband's the one that made that started the Henson broom shop. Here's the pond. Several people out here fishing. It goes all the way down. And over to this side to the road. I love seeing you. 